Welcome to another video by Belter Tech. Today we will be unboxing Panchang uh, UV K5 in brackets 8, uh, the radio, the most uh, sought after uh, handy now. Um, so I got this uh, recently. Uh, I like to keep the source unnamed. Uh, so I already have one which I picked up uh, on my recent uh, trip outside uh, the country. And uh, this is another one I have. I mean, I am amazed uh, with this radio. So I thought I'll have one more uh, lying around. It's a very fun radio, lots of stuff that we can customize this for. So let's see what is there in the box and uh, I'll also see if I could uh, demo the firmware upgrade to this uh, today. A lot of people have been asking me how to update the firmware and uh, once I do the open box then we can look at the firmware upgrade. The box. So you have the handy uh, and then uh, you yeah, I got the one with the cable and the CD. I already have one cable somewhere here. Yeah, I already have one. So one more spare. I really can't have it. So let me put this here. There you go. Um, then uh, the antenna. I mean, this antenna is just fantastic in terms of performance. I've never seen an antenna that can, um, you know, receive uh, even uh, uh, repeaters uh, from inside my house. Not ASU, not Alinco. But this can do that amazing antenna. I don't know how they have. Uh, I think there are some images on how they have built this. But whatever they have done, it's fantastic. So what else there is in the box? Uh, you have got the battery and the lanyard and the uh, documentation, which is actually pretty good compared to Bofeng and others. It's uh, very well documented, but uh, the print is very very small. But I really don't mind it. I give thumbs up uh, to the Quanchang guys uh, for printing a nice documentation and this uh, battery um it did not come like this it came with this one separate but i managed to put this back so this one comes with a sticker of quality control my first one did not come with that so let's see what the radio so this is pretty much standard uh, fitment uh, i can all these batteries are same so if you have any number of constant radios all of them work with each other and uh, you know the rubber ducky as well so slip it in and uh, it's got the flashlight it's got one SMA male connector and all the antennas are SMA female. So whatever Baofeng antennas or rubber duckies that you have, this will work with it. So excellent uh, combination. And uh, the best part about this radio is it's got a USB-C charger, uh, charging port alone. It does not uh, use this for firmware flashing or any other thing, this for charging alone. Must have a USB-C cable somewhere here. Let me take it out, plug this in and uh, we'll see see it charges it's charging now it'll take some time it'll charge oh yeah uh, by the way um, i also have the uh, base it came with the base right now it's not there I need to figure out where it went but it came with a base and pretty nice charger let me see if i can get that base thank you put this away uh, the boxes the covers the cables we don't need it I, i'll use the cable that i already have opened so let me put this away uh, pretty much that's it but uh very good decent packaging uh, i can't complain so this is the uh, charger base and it works just fantastic so clean work wish that given usb option for even this but i'm not complaining very well made uh probably uh, the same kind of uh, you know the base that i found on alinko or asu very well made uh, very solid and durable uh, stuff from quanching i really love their products now Anyways, uh, that is the base and we'll keep that aside. Now let's look at the radio. So I showed you uh, the USB charger and for the firmware updates, uh, let me zoom this in. You got the standard uh, Baofeng uh, cable. So this one also, uh, this is a Baofeng cable actually. And what comes with the radio is also the Baofeng cable. So the only problem is uh, what I found out is you see this part, this kind of obstructs this going in completely. So you need to uh, I've seen this uh, even during firmware sometimes the cable just pops out so you need to really really tighten it when you're doing firmware updates otherwise it will just stop in the middle but don't worry it will get into the flashing mode and you can reflash it so not to worry there uh, but we'll see that when we get to the firmware update part so let's switch on um, the power on button is super smooth and you get uh, very decent menus and for some reason I'm getting Chinese I need to check in Sharp if I can change that to English. But once you have customized software, the voice goes away. So I'm not really dependent on that. 
but by default uh, out of the box you get the same old uh, the baofeng voice uh, you know options so it's got fantastic menu system so you, you once you have selected click on this you can select options from here and then click on it again to confirm and then exit from here to get out of the main menu and the buttons are also super easy uh, press and hold uh, okay this uh, in the new firmware it is so press exit you'll be back press function press 2 and you can switch to the a and b modes uh, for vfo and memory you can press this uh, is fox on uh, let me switch off vox otherwise it will go into tx go here uh, yeah vox switch it off yeah okay exit and uh, function and so you can see that uh, yeah it comes out of uh, this one this is high medium low the power and uh, you can do a lot of stuff with this okay just uh, continuous press okay just press and hold so a lot of options here and uh, you can also do fast copy i think this is the button and uh, the american editions have uh, weather uh, receiving here and this can do out of the box it can do two meters 70 centimeters and even airband right once you upgrade the firmware you get a lot of options by default out of the box you get uh, rx from 15 megahertz tx from 20 megahertz and uh, airband uh, complete and all the modes right uh, am fm dsb and cw also across all the bands are going up to 1.3 megahertz fantastic little fellow and it does wonders i put up some videos of rxing uh, in going on net uh, or bangalore repeater the uhf net uh, from inside my living room take a look at that and but this is a fantastic little fellow uh, worth every penny that you spend on this thank you very much for watching this video i'll be back with the firmware updates thank you